Starting off as usual with every year that I've been in attendance with British Iron of the Ozarks, we're going to be taking a look at the Austin Healy's. These are known as the Bug Eye Sprites. They're still Austin Healy's, but uh, when you see the white one down here on the right that I'm going to show you in just a minute, you'll understand why they're called Bug Eyed. They're pretty funky looking little cars, but they are very nifty nonetheless. If you decide you need the refrigerator and can't fit in the trunk of your MGB, uh, we can arrange to store the uh, uh, facility until you can make arrangements to pick it up and get it shipped. So we're going to move it down. So we're going to close that line of fire. Come see Richard Ventanella. Richard Ventanella will have a lot of people here in the pavilion. He'll represent the Crank Shack magazine here today. Happy to talk to you about their magazine. Richard will be our guest speaker tonight, so it's a chance to meet you. Lots to see this morning. And you're about to see an extremely large collection of Jaguars from many, many different eras, from the Ford Motor Company ownership era to prior to and past tense of the Ford jun uh, jun uh, Junction. There's going to be XJs, XJ8s, XJRs, XKRs, E-types, possibly some F-types, um, Quite a lot, so we'll just go on and scroll through the Jaguar line here.
This is in Fayetteville, Arkansas at the Agri Park uh, University campus. It's been held here for the last 20 years in Northwest Arkansas. It is called British Iron of the Ozarks. You can find out more by Googling Brits in the Ozarks or British Iron of the Ozarks. And their official webpage can give you any information such as contact information, if you would like to join the club, or just to find out more about the event. Some very rare iron here today. an underappreciated classic certified car right here. I've seen it multiple times. This is a 1986 Daimler 6 Plus. It is uh, a vehicle that was developed as a joint venture between Jaguar and Daimler. Very rare car. Classics. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I got a shot of it.
with the V8. That's my buddy. Okay. Yeah, I've got a V8. Anyway, let's go. This car has you on a 2.0 EcoBoost engine no. in it. So is that the one out of the ST? Yeah. So 240 horsepower and about 300 pounds of torque. And it'll do 0 to 60 in about 2.7 seconds. If you can shift fast enough. That's <laughs> So, and then this is a Rocket 2. It's got the 1.6 liter EcoBoost out of the Fiesta SP. Okay. But it's got a custom computer, a computer on it. And so it'll, it does about 230 horsepower and it's just under 300. Yeah, no. So, are these built in the factory and shipped this way or do you order no, these? No, so I, I'm actually with the US importer really? uh, for this company, a couple of companies. Um, and so these come as kits, you can do rolling chassis if you want. Okay. A lot of people now don't really want to build the car themselves. I mean, I, I would like to. It's a lot of fun, but these are really simple. If you put your head down, you can build one. What I like about something like that is you press it. You know Reaching the halfway point, folks, of British Iron of the Ozarks 2022. We've got the largest row yet to walk, which is all of the MGs and Triumphs. This is the largest row of British Iron of the Ozarks every year, and it keeps growing year by year.
started looking around and it absolutely, absolutely the truth. And how old is your son? 43. <laughs> Those of you who have joined us just recently, um, we are wrapping up the live stream portion of British Iron of the Ozarks 2022. Don't fret though, I have my YouTube link in my channel description. Uh, you can check just under the uh, information tab for my YouTube channel and I will be uploading this live stream uh, post tense to my YouTube channel that you can check out and see what you missed. I did kind of start kind of early only because I 
felt that it would be better to go on and start while the weather was still kind of cool outside. So, um, kind of wrapping up here, talk, taking a walk down the last row of British Iron of the Ozarks 2022. But again, I will have post tense footage on my YouTube channel, uh, such as vehicles firing up and leaving and photographs and just all around general material for uh, not only my TikTok page, but also for uh, my YouTube channel. So thank you all always for coming along on these car show journeys. And I will be back with more automotive content in the near future. Well, folks, that wraps up British Iron of the Ozarks 2022's live stream. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. It's a lot quicker than it was last year. Last year she took a little encouragement. <laughs>